Guten Morgen, Schüler. Heute lernen wir den Konjunktiv 2. Der Konjunktiv 2 drückt Wünsche, Träume und Möglichkeiten aus. Zum Beispiel, ich wünschte, ich wäre da. I wish I were there. Wenn ich reich wäre, könnte ich meinen Job kündigen. If I were rich, I could quit my job. Dieses Video könnte viral gehen. This video could go viral. Okay, verstehe. Ich wünschte, ich wäre da, ist ein Wunsch. Aber kann man das auch nicht so sagen? Ich wünsche mir, ich bin da. Der Konjunktiv 2 ist raus, aber der Wunsch bleibt. Das Verb wünschen drückt also den Wunsch aus, oder? Okay, versuchen wir den zweiten Satz. Wenn ich reich wäre, könnte ich meinen Job kündigen. If I were rich, I could quit my job. Hier drücke ich einen Traum aus. Ach ja, wenn das Wörtchen wenn nicht wär. Hm. Hier könnte man auch sagen, wenn ich reich bin, kann ich meinen Job kündigen. If I am rich, I can quit my job. Wieder ist der Konjunktiv 2 weg, aber der Traum bleibt. Die Konjunktion wenn drückt eine Bedingung aus, nämlich, dass sie reich sind. Da sie nicht wirklich reich sind, drückt der Satz einen Traum oder Wunsch aus. Gut, dann sehen wir mal, was du zu dem letzten Satz sagst. Dieses Video könnte viral gehen. This video could go viral. Das ist eine Möglichkeit oder eine Wahrscheinlichkeit, was dir lieber ist. Ähm, <lacht> dieses Video kann viral gehen. Konjunktiv 2 nada. Möglichkeit noch da. Das Verb können drückt die Möglichkeit aus. Oder Wahrscheinlichkeit, was ihnen lieber ist. Gut, das sind nur Einzelfehler, die du da gefunden hast. No, they aren't. The Konjunktiv 2 or the Subjunctive in German does not express wishes, dreams and possibilities. It is only used when you want to express that something is contrary to reality. Today I will explain what the Konjunktiv 2 really is and how you should really use it. Took you long enough. You teased this video in March of last year. Then I should probably get to the point instead of wasting time arguing with you, huh? As I mentioned in the intro, Konjunktiv 2 is simply used to express irreality or things that are contrary to reality. It shows that whatever is being expressed in the Konjunktiv 2 is not the way things are in reality. The Konjunktiv 2 can be used any time that the indicative can be used, you know, the normal stuff you're probably used to. And conversely, the indicative can be used wherever the Konjunktiv 2 is. It's simply a question of what do you want to express? If you want to express that this event, action or condition is not real, use Konjunktiv 2. If you want to express that this action, event or condition is real, could be real or even will be real in the future, use the indicative. You don't need to know whether something is actually real. It's just a matter of whether you want to express that reality. For example, Harry Potter is written almost exclusively in the indicative mood, even though none of it is real. Sorry if I just ruined your dream of going to Hogwarts. Wishes, dreams, and possibilities are all expressed through context and grammatical structures that are not directly expressed through the Konjunktiv 2. Wishes, most often, are expressed with the verb wünschen, which is just as often used in the indicative as it is the Konjunktiv 2. Dreams and possibilities are often expressed with the conjunction wenn. These again can be expressed either using the Konjunktiv 2 or without it. Let's see some examples to drive this home. Ich wünschte, ich hätte eine Katze. I wish I had a cat. This sentence shows a wish, but the only part of the sentence that is expressing the wishing aspect is the verb wünschen. The Konjunktiv 2 in the verb haben, or more precisely hätte, shows us that we don't in fact have a cat. If the Konjunktiv 2 is used to express irreality, why is wünschen also written in the Konjunktiv 2? It isn't, were I to wish something, I'd wish I had a cat. It's simply, I wish I had a cat. This is actually just matching moods and tenses to make the sentence sound better. 
It's the same reason that you don't often hear people mix the perfect with the preteritum in the same sentence. It just sounds better that way, even though the grammar says that it isn't necessary to have it that way. The point is this. Grammatical structures need to be clear on their purpose and make the person understood without a doubt or it loses its usefulness, and consequently would die out. The Konjunktiv 2 is alive and well, which means that it does have a purpose. The problem is that people assume the Konjunktiv 2 is showing the wish, dream, or possibility, when in fact other things in the sentence do that. The Konjunktiv 2's only function is to express irreality. Nothing more, nothing less. You will often see the Konjunktiv 2 with the conjunction wenn, as this introduces the condition. If that condition is not met, the situation needs to be expressed in the Konjunktiv 2 as it isn't real. If the condition is met, you simply use the indicative like normal. For example, Wenn ich zu Hause wäre, würde ich mir die Schuhe ausziehen. If I were at home, I would take off my shoes. Wenn ich zu Hause bin, ziehe ich mir die Schuhe aus. If I am at home, I take off my shoes. In the first one, I'm not at home, and the Konjunktiv 2 points that out. In the second one, it indicates an occasion when I am at home, which is a real situation, which requires the indicative. Let's try another. Wenn ich mehr Geld hätte, würde ich mehr Geld ausgeben. If I had more money, I would spend more money. Wenn ich mehr Geld habe, gebe ich mehr Geld aus. If I have more money, I spend more money. Again, the first one shows you that I don't have more money, but the second one shows that when the condition of having more money is met, I spend more of it. Super. We've established that my teacher is wrong on the why part of the lesson, but can we get to the how part? I still need to learn the Konjunktiv 2 for the chapter test in Herr Domkopf's class. The easy way to form the Konjunktiv 2 is to start with the verb werden. You have to conjugate werden in the Konjunktiv 2 and put the other verb that you want to use at the end of the clause or sentence. For example, Ich würde ein Pony kaufen. I would buy a pony. The forms of werden that you need in the Konjunktiv 2 are as follows. Ich würde, I would. Du würdest, you would. Er, sie, es, würde. He, she, it, would. Wir würden, we would. Ihr würdet, you would. Sie würden, they would or you would. The second option for forming the Konjunktiv 2 is actually the Konjunktiv 2 version of the verb that you need. Every verb in German has a Konjunktiv 2 version, but not all of them are used in Konjunktiv 2 as the Preteritum indicative form of the regular verbs are identical to the Konjunktiv 2 version. For this reason, most people default to the Würden plus infinitive constructions. If you do use the Konjunktiv 2 version of a verb, it will often include an umlaut in the stem of the verb that wasn't there in the Preteritum. For example, Sein in the Preteritum indicative is war. Add an umlaut and some endings to make it the Konjunktiv 2 version. Ich wäre, I were. Du wärest, you were. Er, sie, es, wäre. He, she, it, were. Wir wären, we were. Ihr wäret, you were. Sie wären, they or you were. Haben im Präteritum indicative is hatte. Add an umlaut and some endings to make the Konjunktiv 2 version. Ich hätte, I had. Du hättest, you had. Er, sie, es, hätte. He, she, it, had. Wir hätten, we had. Ihr hättet, you had. Sie hätten, they or you had. Finden in Präteritum indicative is fand. Add an umlaut and some endings to make it the Konjunktiv 2. Ich fände das schön. I would find that beautiful or great. Was fändest du toll? What would you think is great? Wenn er seine Augen öffnen würde, fände er seine Schlüssel. If he would open his eyes, he would find his keys. Wir fänden keine Pinguine am Nordpol. We wouldn't find any penguins at the North Pole. Ihr fändet die Antworten im Buch. You would find the answers in the book. Die Schüler fanden die Lektion leichter, wenn Herr Antrim dort wäre. The students would find the lesson easier if Herr Antrim were there. 
Using the Konjunktiv 2 with modal auxiliaries works the same way, but obviously you have the option of adding another verb to the mix, which would then be in the infinitive form at the end of the clause or sentence. Ich dürfte kein Eis essen, wenn ich lactose intolerant wäre. I wouldn't be allowed to eat ice cream if I were lactose intolerant. Könntest du bitte leise kauen? Could you please chew quietly? Er sollte ins Bett gehen. He should go to bed. Note that there are no umlauts in the forms for sollen in the Konjunktiv 2. Wir müssten das nicht tun. We wouldn't have to do that. Was wolltet ihr Einstein fragen? What would you like to ask Einstein? Again, notice that there are no umlauts in the forms of wollen in the Konjunktiv 2. Möchten Sie etwas trinken? Would you like something to drink? Lots of textbooks will use this as if it's its own verb, because nowadays most people don't understand that möchten is actually the Konjunktiv 2 version of mögen, but rather just a softened version of wollen. You get the general idea by now. If you're unsure if you should use würden plus an infinitive, or the simple past plus umlauts construction, use the würden plus infinitive format. It is the more common option, and it avoids using some weird form of a verb that you're unsure of. All of what I've told you so far is about the Konjunktiv 2 in the present tense. If you want to talk about the future in Konjunktiv 2, simply use the würden plus infinitive construction that I mentioned before. If you want to talk about the past, however, unlike in the indicative, there is only one past tense in the Konjunktiv 2. Start with the perfect tense. This will give you the past participle that you need at the end of the sentence and your helping verb, either haben or sein. Then conjugate the helping verb, haben or sein, in the Konjunktiv 2, and then formulate the rest of your sentence like you would in the perfect tense. For example, Hätte er den ganzen Kuchen nicht gegessen, hätte er keine Bauchschmerzen. Had he not eaten the entire cake, he wouldn't have a stomach ache. Wären wir nicht ins Kino gegangen, hätten wir unseren Chef nicht getroffen. Had we not gone to the movie theater, we wouldn't have met our boss. Now let's back up and make sure that we're all on the same page. Konjunktiv 2 does not express dreams, wishes, and possibilities. It simply expresses something that is contrary to reality. This is often used with dreams, wishes, and possibilities, as they are often contrary to reality. When using the Konjunktiv 2, it's important to remember that it's not necessary for you to know if the situation is actually real or not, but rather that you want to express that it is unreal. If you need more help with the uses of the verb werden, both with the Konjunktiv 2 and its other uses, I have a video right here for that. If you need help with the perfect tense, which is used to build the basis of the past tense in Konjunktiv 2, you can watch that over here. If you need help with a variety of other topics that are mentioned in this video, I have a ton of links in the description that can help you along. That's it alles für heute. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss!